closer to the hair curl. Why bother? Everybody comes to us because the, their main concern when they have a hair transplantation is they want hair transplant to look natural. We think, oh, I'm exaggerating with this photo. No, um, naturalness is their first concern. The second concern is hair density. Can you see through hair or not? And the third concern is hair styling. Yeah, if they, these two people have to work hard to cover what is not natural, what it doesn't come easily. So hair curl help us accomplish naturalness, density, and styling options. Um, this is a result of young men who had a hair transplant done, as you can see, there, you can see the directions in, are all over the place. The second patient is the same thing. So we think I exaggerated with pre previous slides. However, there are patients who come to us with the results that were done, done or made because the hair curl was not faced in right direction. Um, what to look for? In order to notice thinning, a person has to lo lose 50% of original hair density. So if you look at the forest, it has to be the amount of leaves in, in, in forest has to be below 50%, like hair, for light to come through and shine upon scalp. Hair curl help us create enough density above the scalp to cast the shadow and in, in, in create illusion of higher density. So if we have like a palm tree, the hair is standing straight up, there's not enough shade on the scalp in the hair transplanted hair will look thinner. But the branches, they're curled over the scalp. Imagine this is a scalp, the hair curl that curls over the scalp, casts a shed upon the scalp, and that creates the illusion of higher density. So I wanted to give you a visuals to understand the importance of paying attention to the hair curl. Another reason to pay attention to hair curl, if you look at the blinds, if they're straight perpendicular to the scalp, then the light comes through and shines upon the scalp. If you tilt your blind, then it doesn't show through, and we are, once again, we achieve a higher illusion of higher density. Hair curl has to face toward the scalp like a shingles on a roof. They have to lay over each other to create that perfect shadow to cover the scalp. So these are the visual for you to understand why hair curl is so important. The different parts on different parts of the head here, curl is directed in different um, directions. However, it's always facing toward the scalp. So whether it is going in a female hairline, it curls back. In male hairline, it curls forward. So every part of the head, the hair curl will curl toward the scalp. So if you look, the, and I'll show you the next slide. What I did in order to um, help understand the hair curl, I used individual eyelashes. If someone, you can buy them, you can see the box here on the top. Individual eyelashes come with existing curl. And then I took a styrofoam head and covered it with a, a Play-Doh and put the swim cap on the top and created in little incisions. So if you see, this is my model. Then I can use a little eyelashes to insert and show how hair curl comes and, and goes and faces toward the scalp. So if you see on the front, hair curl faces toward the scalp. In a swirl, it faces, even if it directs in a different parts of the head, it always curls toward the scalp. And this is a close up. You see that hair curl faces scalp going forward, faces scalp going forward, faces scalp going downward, downward, and this is a temple going, it goes back, backwards. The idea of using eyelashes is they already have a little curl in them, like not natural hair curl. And the same thing happens in the swirl. So how to do, when you dissect grafts, there is existing slight curl within the hair, uh, each hair graft. Some can be more pronounced than others. African American have a curl that even below the scalp in, is more pronounced. Um, these were more obvious. There are those that are a little bit more challenging. The shorter the hair, if you look here, when it's a short hair, you can envision the hair curl. The longer will give you this idea of where the hair curls. 
Um, however, everybody has a hair curl. Caucasian, it curls slightly this way. There's a little angle, it goes this way. This is obvious. Even in Asian, you can see that there's a slight, if I dissect this graft, there will be slight curl toward the left. Um, another training tool is to take your gloves, I suggested you uh, spray your gloves with uh, saline so there's no powder uh, in case you use gloves with powder. And then make the surface wet. Then use grafts, several grafts, and direct them and look at the curl side so all curls have to be facing in the same direction. I intentionally put first three grafts to face forward and the last graft, this one here, to face back to show you that there's a subtle differences in a curl, but they make all the difference in the end result. Um, helpful tip is the shorter hair, the harder it is to see. Keep your hair longer. You can use a clipper with a guard that is five or seven day long, like a clipper for a beard. They are narrow clippers and they have a guard on them. So that will allow you when you're trimming your donor hair to leave it long so you will be able to see your hair curl. Um, in the placement, when you're placing your hair curl, always step on the side. Look at your hair from a different direction. The longer the hair, the more obvious becomes whether your hair curl is pointed in the right direction. So one picture shows one curl facing up. Even if your angle is acute, if your hair curls up, it won't cast a shed on the scalp. So it defeats the purpose to have sights perfectly made if we fail to orient our hair curl in the proper direction. Um, eyebrows are very, very important to pay attention to the hair curl because the hair is short, it's visible on the face, they have to curl toward the scalp and face in the right direction, especially in the eyebrow, there's a certain pattern where the hair direct toward each other, the curl has to face. So there's a certain areas on the head, every area is important, but certain areas are extremely important. This is a case where the hair curl was not placed properly in a temple. So you can see how it plays. This one goes up, and this was curling up this way it's, it, instead of coming down. Hair in the temple grows down, and the curl should point down. It was misdirected, and you can see how unnatural this looks. So it may, the uh, single follicular units were used, the fine sites were made, the angle of the sites were correct, correctly done. However, the hair curl failed um, to be directed in proper way. This is the only patient I can find with a um, hair curl misdirected in a vertex. This patient has many different problems beside a hair curl. However, you can see this hair grows this way, this goes this way, this. So every hair was oriented, however, and that contributes to an unnatural looking result. Um, this is a fine hair. This patient had a hair transplantation done. You would say this looks relatively natural. However, hairs are pointing backwards and straight up. The angle was wrong. Remember the blinds? The lower the angle, the more shadow it cast. So there was a straight angle plus the curl going in the opposite direction. The scalp is exposed and looks like see-through effect. The same number of hairs with the angles of the sights in a hair curl directed toward the scalp would look much, much more denser and more natural. Um, remember that you make the world of difference. It's pay, paying attention to the detail of a hair curl may make a difference between okay result and extraordinary result. And you have that responsibility to give an extra second of attention turn your graft on your hand before you place it until you find a fine curl. In the final check, go back and look at your hair place from every angle so you can see whether they're facing the right direction. It takes extra 10 minutes at the end, but it makes, once again, a world of difference to the person who is wearing the hair to the rest of their life. And this is what it can look. It could look messy <laughs> if you don't pay attention, or it can look like good looking guy. And thank you. Um, I hope this was clear.